Good morning everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And today I'm starting my uh, little vlog walk here. It's like from inside the Luxor Hotel. So we're taking a look at this uh, model of the Titanic here. Always done this model fascinating. I just kind of move back here so I can show you, kind of show you the whole thing. The detail that they put into this is pretty unreal, pretty amazing. We take a look here at this. This whole deck here, look, check that out. See that wire moving in there. I don't know if the camera pick it up or not, but that wire's moving. It must mean that the uh, the end is near, huh? Or maybe that's one of the ghosts in there. All right, everybody. So, we took a look at that. We'll just kind of walk around for a few minutes to see what's going on. I hope uh, everybody had a great weekend. We'll take a look here at the hotel front desk area. It's going to be another. Another hot day today. It's supposed to get up to about 95 today. It did not hit 100 degrees yesterday, so the streak is uh, continuing. You look at that lion there. The streak is continuing on of uh, under 100 degree days. Saw something interesting uh, in 2021. It's like on these. Uh, these days it was well over 100 degrees. In fact, in 2021, uh, just a couple days ago, uh, it was 115. So it kind of lets you know of the uh, kind of how the weather varies here in the desert a little bit, huh? Take a look here at the ballet area. You see Mandalay Bay over there. It's not bad, though, it's no wine, it's red. Red. You know, it's funny. These kinds are up all over Las Vegas. Nobody really enforces them.
can I cut through oh boy going over to the Excalibur Hotel but realistically if you're inside the hotel you can get to over to Excalibur without ever leaving the property Take a look kind of down the strip here from underneath these trees here. Let's say that the uh, parade and the uh, celebration for the Vegas Golden Knights uh, Stanley Cup victory party, it's like would be an understatement. I mean, there were, I, mean, I watched it on TV, so I'm not to get caught up in the, uh, the people and everything, but uh, it was pretty amazing. Now, I still haven't seen any definite uh, in numbers what the estimates were, but, uh, and I haven't read where anything really bad happened either, so. Good morning, Mr. Pigeon. You know, so that's a that's always a good thing. Yeah, no fights, no. Yeah, consider it was pretty hot. It's like when the parade started, it was still 96 degrees here in Las Vegas. At uh, I think the parade started at 7 p.m. on Saturday. So. As you can probably hear in the microphone, it's like it's a kind of a breezy day here in Las Vegas. I know the wind picked up uh, yesterday evening. It was blowing about 20, 25 mile per hour. And I think it's supposed to be, uh, supposed to be kind of windy here in the next few days from what I understand. And I was thinking, uh, you know, we're almost halfway through the year here. And it'll be interesting that to see that the, uh, how busy it is on July 4th here in Vegas. Since the holiday is kind of midweek. Of course, I know some people take vacation time. It's like during that period, but uh, usually the midweek holidays like this one, you know, it's kind of really hit and miss here in Vegas.
You know, originally on the 10 day forecast here in Vegas, it's like it was supposed to be cloudy today. They were showing there wasn't uh, no or precipitation. It was projected, but it was supposed to be cloudy. But I'm kind of thinking uh, when these winds kind of kicked up, that kind of uh, kind of changed the forecast a little bit. All right, everybody, I think it's going to do it for this video today. I'm Lobo Frick. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate that. Hit that thumbs up button also helps our videos out, keeps them visible in that YouTube universe. And hopefully everybody has a great, great day today starting the new week out. Everybody take care, okay? Stay healthy. I will see you all in the next video. Hey, bye-bye, everybody.